Hello, in this presentation, we are going to show how to attach discrete appurtenances on a tau. To start with, let's create an appurtenances group. There are three distinct parts of the discrete appurtenances UI, which are the mount definition, level details, and miscellaneous. Let's start with the mount level summary. Attach mount at 294 feet level. Choose sector mount as the mount type. Choose a model from the available list of sector mounts. These are auto populated from a catalog. Let's put mount on each leg. So use quantity as three. And program will automatically create mounts at all three legs. Adjust mount azimuth. Please note K values are auto calculated based on the standards. Click on apply mount to save the mounts. Now move on to the level details page. There are already empty rows created to attach appurtenances. Let's create four more rows. Select a manufacturer from the available list, say Andrew. Corresponding model names will be auto populated. Select a model from the list. Select a standard pipe mount. By default, program adds six feet as the pipe length. Change it to seven feet. Change the lateral and vertical offset. Now, Copy this completed definition of appurtenances and paste it to the row below. Then change the lateral offset to put the antenna on the other side of the pipe. Follow the similar process to select a different appurtenance for the third row and then copy the same to the fourth row. Finally, add an appurtenance to the fifth row without any mount pipe. Now copy the antennas defined for leg A to leg B and leg C. It can be easily achieved by clicking on the all mounts identical checkbox. Save the appurtenances so far. Let's move on to the miscellaneous page. Attach a lightning rod at 300 feet level. It is added on leg A. Adjust vertical offset. Click on apply and then click on save. Now create a new scenario by right clicking on the scenarios group. Make sure to select group 1 for existing loadings. Click save. Now right click on the new scenario and click on set active. Program now shows a full 3D model of the tower along with all defined discrete equipment. It is a visual treat for the tower engineers look at the details from different viewing angles. You can easily notice the effect of azimuths associated to mounts. We can select antennas and mounts to review its properties, including areas and EPA values. Thanks for watching.